Back with Neil Young this morning from Alexa Energy on Just Stocks. Neil, morning. Uh, morning to you. Always a pleasure. Look, an operational update out from you this morning on Grandis. Uh, certainly getting down to the, the pointy end of things now with the stimulation program underway. Uh, tell us a bit more, Neil. So that commenced within the last uh, 24 hours. Um, we've had an extensive fleet of equipment mobilized to site from Halliburton, who's uh, arguably the world's uh, leading stimulation company. Uh, we've got about 16,000 horsepower of equipment there, which is, is obviously quite a lot in terms of its pumping capability. Uh, um, the, the first stimulation zone has been attacked and we have five more to come. And, and if things go to plan, that will take around a week or so to, to finish. And so there's six zones in total, is there? Correct. So we're, we're learning a lot from this well. So firstly, we're targeting the deepest zone, the Laurel sandstone that we announced in the last week or so flowed without stimulation. But with stimulation, we expect it to flow more. Then we're attacking above that step by step a number of separate tight sandstones and tight coals to get them to see if they can flow as well. The coals in particular have never been uh, attacked in this way, and there's an enormous amount of gas in the coals at these depths. And if they start to flow even a little bit, then we are uh, we will start to move what are uh, uh, sort of lower uh, quality resources, prospective resources, into higher quality discovered resources, i.e. contingent resources. And what might a commercial flow rate depend on here? Uh, it's a good question. There's a number of factors that go into this. There is the initial flow rate and the expected shape of the flow rate over time. And that is different from like tight gas wells, say, compared to conventional wells. There is the expected long term cost of, of drilling and completing. There is the tax regime, the royalty rate, which in Queensland you know, is, is pretty, pretty reasonable. But most important of all is the gas price that is expected. Uh, we are very well located here near to the Wallambilla Gas Hub. Uh, we can sell into East Coast or international markets, and all expectations are that gas prices that are currently high will remain high. And so accordingly, the flow rate that we need to get, uh, given all those other variables, is much lower than in the past when gas prices were, were very low. So uh, we're, we're, we're you know, pretty confident that a, that a modest rate will deliver commerciality, given the favorable location and the favorable gas market dynamics. And so you're moving quickly here. How soon might you see some flow rates or report back some flow rates? Well, I never want to spook the, the drilling and, and geology gods here by being, being too optimistic. Um, I, I would say roughly a month, but um, they, they could hit me with a lightning bolt uh, for that. It could be you know, a few days earlier. It could be a little bit longer. We, you know, we build in contingencies uh, into these sorts of things. But uh, I think it's fair to sum up and say, you know, we're, we're right at, at the end of this to date very successful appraisal well. Uh, and in a fairly short time, we're, we're going to get some results which uh, will deliver multiple things, as I say, hopefully a commercial flow rate. But even absent that, moving resources into de-risked categories, learning a lot, providing information to potential partners, et cetera. So uh, we're an awful lot of data to come with multiple uses uh, therefrom. It's interesting. You mentioned potential partners. Are you having some conversations? We're having conversations. I mean, there are you know, clearly neighbours who are much bigger companies who we have formal and informal relationships with. There are other companies in Queensland who, who have stakes in uh, LNG plants and, and those plants need more gas. There are parties in America who have substantial experience in this sort of tight gas play. And this is big enough to attract even very large parties. We have LNG customers such as Japanese trading houses who, particularly in this in a more you know, confrontational world we're in just now, are keener to, uh, to own molecules in a safe location. So there's a whole swathe of potentially interested parties for this type of thing. Now, big parties tend to move very slowly. Um, most of our team have, have worked in them before, and we sort of know that. Um, but uh, we think that the intrinsic quality of the play will be attractive in the end of the day. Great to see you, Neil. Thanks for your time. Thanks and likewise.